Hey guys, it's Lord of the Pogs. Today we're going to talk about the disappearance of Elisa Lamb. If you're not familiar with Elisa Lamb, she's somewhat of an internet phenomenon that became popular after her disappearance from the Cecil Hotel in Los Angeles in 2013. Three weeks after she was last seen alive, her body was found in a water tank on the hotel's roof. What's mysterious about this is roof access is locked. Only staff has passcodes and keys. The investigation showed that roof access is possible via the fire escape, but police dogs did not find her scent on the fire escape or on the roof. Even if she was able to make it to the roof, the water tanks themselves are 4 feet by 8 feet, and they're propped up on concrete blocks. Hotel workers had to use ladders to get to the water tanks to look at the water where her body was found. When she checked into the hotel, Elisa was traveling alone and assigned to a shared room on the fifth floor. This is important. But after two days, her roommates complained about what was described as certain erratic behavior. That's according to the hotel's lawyers and moved to a room of her own. During the investigation into her disappearance, the LAPD released a video of the last time she was seen alive, taken from a security camera on an elevator. In two and a half minutes of footage, she displays some rather unusual, erratic behavior. One theory suggests she was trying to get the elevator to move to escape someone who was following her, and when her bipolar disorder became known, the possibility of her having a psychotic episode also emerged. When Elisa enters the elevator, she presses down on a column of buttons and moves to a corner. She looks both ways out of the elevator, then steps out, strangely moving her feet in, a, in almost a square dance motion, then steps out of the frame. She then goes back into the elevator and presses on the buttons again. Then she steps back out of the elevator and waves her hands almost as if she's gesturing to someone else. Eventually she steps out of the frame permanently. Only after she leaves does the elevator close. A moment later it opens and closes twice, but there's no one outside. As soon as this video was posted, it started conspiracy theories and rumors of foul play. There's potentially a foot seen from outside. It's odd the way Lisa twists her foot in the very last frame. And at 228, it almost looks like there's a shoe from another person standing outside. When the video was released, people were suspicious that a hotel employee kept the elevator open or that someone else outside pressed a button to hold it. The Cecil Hotel already has an unusual history and some people suggest that spirits or malevolent forces manipulated Elisa in the elevator. Between 257 and 258, there is a sudden jump in the timestamp when the elevator closes. The hotel staff have maintained that they did not edit the original video and that it featured nothing suspicious. Some viewers have suggested that within the obscured timestamp, the milliseconds have been slowed down. According to detectives, parts of the video were potentially slowed down so that someone might recognize Elisa. Several times in the video, Elisa oddly presses an entire column of buttons. One theory suggests that she was playing a Korean game called The Elevator Game to take her to another dimension. According to the rules of this game, which is just called The Elevator Game, you need one player, yourself, and a building with at least 10 floors, which the Cecil Hotel has 14 floors. 
to play, you get on the elevator by yourself. I'm reading the rules. Press the button for the fourth floor. When the elevator reaches the fourth floor, do not get out. Instead, remain in the elevator and press the button for the second floor. When you reach the second floor, remain in the elevator and press the button for the sixth floor. When you reach the sixth floor, remain in the elevator and press the button for the second floor. When you reach the second floor again, remain in the elevator and press the button for the tenth floor. When you reach the tenth floor, remain in the elevator and press the button for the fifth floor. That's why it's important that Elisa was assigned to a room on the fifth floor. When you reach the fifth floor, a young woman may enter the elevator. That's all it says. Do not look at her. Do not speak to her. She is not what she seems. I'm not sure what that means, but that's what the rules say. She is not what she seems. Press the button for the first floor. If the elevator begins ascending to the tenth floor, if the elevator descends to the first floor, exit as soon as the door is open. Do not look back. Do not speak. If you reach the tenth floor, you may either choose to get off the elevator or stay in it. If you choose to get off and the woman entered the elevator on the fifth floor, she'll ask you, where are you going? Do not answer her. Do not look at her. It says you will know whether you have arrived at the other world by one indication and the one indication only. The only person present in it is you. For the return trip, press the button for the first floor. If it doesn't work, keep pressing it until it finally does. When the elevator reaches the first floor, exit as soon as the doors open. If you choose to exit the elevator at the 10th floor, you must use the same elevator to return as the one in which you arrived. When you enter the elevator, press the buttons in the same order you did in steps 2 through 8 of venturing out. You should finish at the 5th floor. When you reach the fifth floor, press the button for the first floor. The elevator will again begin to ascend to the tenth floor. Press any other floor's button to cancel the ascension. You must press the button you use to cancel the ascension before you reach the tenth floor. After you reach the first floor, check your surroundings carefully. If anything seems off, even the smallest detail, do not exit the elevator. If you detect something wrong, repeat step two, that is, Press the buttons in the same order you did in steps 2 through 8 of venturing out. Repeat step 2 until your surroundings look as they should. Once you are confident that you have returned to your own world, you may safely exit the elevator. It says, should you reach the other world, the floor onto which you emerge will look almost identical to the one from your own world, save for two things, all of the lights will be off, and the only thing you'll be able to see from the windows is a red cross in the distance. Some people say that electronic devices like mobile phones, cameras, MP3 players don't work in the other world. Some say they do. Getting back to your own world may be more difficult than it seems. You may become disoriented and forget which elevator in which you arrive. The elevator may seem to go further and further away from you as you walk towards it and so on. Be vigilant and keep your wits about you. If at any point during the ritual you faint, pass out, or otherwise lose consciousness, you'll likely wake up in your own home. However, be sure to carefully examine your surroundings upon waking. The home to which you have been returned may not be the one you left when you first set out to attempt this ritual. Concerning the woman on the fifth floor, do not speak to her. Do not look at her. If you do, she may decide to keep you for her own. That's all it says. One Reddit user documented his experience playing the elevator game. He followed the steps, and it took him to the fifth floor instead of the lobby I was intending to go to. A woman with dark hair entered the elevator. As I looked up at her, she had a grin on her face. He looked at her, which you're not supposed to do. Pressed the button for the first floor, and the elevator began ascending. He got to the tenth floor and opened. As I ran out, she said, where are you going? He says it was like the hallway was endless. I couldn't get away from the elevator. No matter how far I ran, I was stuck in some sort of loop. He says he caught the sky outside, which was a reddish tint, and he even caught the fable burning cross, which he describes as laden with limbs and body parts. He says he made it back to the elevator, performed the reverse ritual, and made it to the first floor. Another user, who calls herself anonymous, 
writes about her experience playing the elevator game. She says, first off, before I say anything else, I want to make it absolutely clear that under no circumstances should anyone play the elevator game. If you're curious about it, then please just stop. She says, a woman did get on at the fifth floor. The problem is that I never had an opportunity to not look at her because I was looking at the lights above the doors telling me which floor I was on and it startled me when the elevator suddenly stopped. By then I was already looking at the door as she was getting on. Her hair was a light blonde and she had striking green eyes and freckles. She started talking about how there had just been an accident on the fifth floor and asked if I would go back with her to help. She says, I didn't speak, it was too weird, no way I was going to speak to her. She said it again, and this time she sounded like she was getting angry. The next thing I noticed, she'd gone to this kind of soft weeping. I would say that it sounded sad or even mournful. She says, I could practically feel her body shuddering. She was crying so hard, and the sound of it seemed to fill the elevator, getting louder and louder until I simply couldn't take it anymore. The elevator began a rapid ascent. I pressed every button on the elevator's console trying to stop it, but nothing responded. The floor indicator light read 10, the doors opened and there was nothing. She says, I hit the elevator button for the first floor and the elevator moved slowly downward. At the lobby, I stepped out and walked quickly out of the building. In both of these accounts, the users said that they had to press multiple buttons in order to return, which we saw Elisa do in the security camera footage. Both users also said that they did encounter a woman, but Elisa did not encounter anyone else at least not in the security camera footage that is available. However, she does seem to be gesturing to someone out of frame, and there does appear to be someone else outside the elevator, which is suggested by what seems to be someone else's foot beside the Lisa's. According to the rules, one way that you'll know that the ritual is successful is that when the elevator doors open, all the lights will be off. However, when the elevator door is open in the security camera footage, the lights appear to remain on. So what really happened on the elevator at the Cecil Hotel? Was Elisa trying to play the elevator game? Maybe she made it to another dimension and the security camera footage displays her attempts to return. Maybe the lights being off or the appearance of a young woman is in the portion of the security camera footage that was deleted. What do you think happened to Elisa Lamb? Please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell in the corner to get notifications for more videos like this one.